Increasingly, busy professionals receive various types of content in the form of portable document format or PDF files. This content might come in the form of contracts, financial statements, reports, or even manuals associated with continuing professional education events. Often, the recipients of this content would like to add notes, highlights, comments, and other markups to these documents. In this tip, you will learn how to mark up and add comments to PDF documents on various devices, including your desktop, laptop, and tablet. Due to the market-leading position of the Adobe Acrobat suite of products, we will focus on using these tools to edit documents on desktop as well as laptop computers. If you have downloaded the PDF document onto your PC or laptop, and if you have Adobe Acrobat Standard, Professional, or suite installed on the PC or laptop, marking up and adding comments to the PDF document is a simple and straightforward process. Additionally, if the author of the document has enabled this feature in the document, you can even use Acrobat Reader to mark up and comment on a PDF document. Assuming the author of the document has not secured the document to prevent such markups, you can edit, markup, and add your comments to a PDF document by opening the document and clicking Comment to open the Comment pane currently shown on the screen. With the Comments pane open, you can easily select from the different types of markups and edits you would like to add to the document. Two of the more popular options are the Highlight Text tool and the Add Sticky Note tool. To use the Highlight Text Tool, simply click the Highlight Text Tool icon in the Comment pane, and then click and drag the text in the document you wish to highlight. As you can see, doing so highlights the text in the document just as if you were using a more traditional yellow highlighter on a paper document. Likewise, you can click the Add Sticky Note icon in the Comment pane, and then add a note to the document. Once you have added the note to the document, you can minimize its appearance by clicking the Minimize button in the upper right corner of the note. To bring the note back, simply click on the icon that has been added to the document. Another popular tool used for editing and marking up documents in the Adobe Acrobat suite is the Pencil Tool. Clicking on the Pencil Tool in the Comment pane allows you to make free-form drawings on the document. For example, circling items of interest, as currently shown on the screen. In sum, the Adobe family of products provides a very robust feature set for adding your own comments and marking up a document. Now let's turn our attention to marking up PDF documents on a tablet device, such as an iPad. Apple iPads, Motorola Zooms, and countless other tablet devices are reshaping how many people collaborate, communicate, and compute. In a growing number of cases, owners of these devices choose to receive and open documents, including PDF documents, on their tablets. Since users interact with tablets much differently than they interact with their PC, many are unaware of their options to mark up and comment on PDF documents on their tablets. In this section, we examine some of the many options for doing so, using the iPad as the foundation of the discussion. Of course, before you can mark up or comment on a PDF document on your tablet, you must first download and install the, an appropriate app that provides this functionality. Numerous quality options exist for this task, including the Adobe Acrobat Reader, which is a free app for the iPad, GoodReader for the iPad, which cost a nominal $4.99, and iAnnotate PDF, which retails for $9.99. And there are many other quality apps, so be sure to check the App Store for your tablet. 
Our first illustration will use the free Adobe Reader app for the iPad as the demonstration vehicle. If you choose to open a PDF using this app, your markup and commenting options are somewhat limited. As currently shown on the screen, in the upper right-hand corner, three icons exist. The icon on the left allows a user to switch between reading modes. The icon in the middle provides forward, print, and open in another app options. And the icon on the right allows a user to search the PDF document for specific words or phrases. In the lower right-hand corner, users are allowed to add a bookmark to the PDF document, providing for quick and easy return to a pre-specified location. Given this relative lack of functionality in the Adobe Reader app for the iPad, it is all but a requirement to utilize a more robust app for the task of marking up, commenting, and editing PDF documents on an iPad. One of the more popular PDF tools for the iPad is Goodreader for iPad. Goodreader provides numerous markup and commenting tools. As currently shown on the screen, Goodreader docks a toolbar to the right side of the window. The Goodreader toolbar contains numerous options for marking up a document. At the top of the toolbar, users can select the Add Bookmark tool, which allows the user to add a bookmark to a PDF document. Next is the Typewriter tool, which allows a user to type information directly into the document. Goodreader also provides a pop-up note tool, which allows users to attach sticky notes to a document. Goodreader provides a highlight tool, allowing users to highlight specific text in a document, as well as an underline tool and a squiggly tool, which allows users various forms of underlining text in a document. Goodreader provides a strikeout tool, which allows users to strike out text in a document. Users can use the line tool to draw lines in the document, along with the arrow tool to add arrows in the document. A rectangle tool and an oval tool allow users to draw, of course, rectangles and ovals in the document. And lastly, a freehand tool allows users to draw freehand forms directly into the document. Using these tools, a user might mark up a document, as currently shown on the screen, to include a note as well as to include highlighted text. The third tool to discuss for editing and marking up PDF documents on an iPad is iAnnotate PDF. iAnnotate PDF is a PDF app with a very deep and robust feature set allowing users not only to read PDF documents, but also to annotate these documents using highlighting, a pen tool, notes, and other options. Like the Goodreader app discussed previously, iAnnotate PDF docks a toolbar to the right side of a PDF document. At the top of the toolbar, users will find a note tool allowing them to create sticky notes and attach the sticky note to a document a finger tool which allows a user to use his or her finger to draw free form on the document, a highlight tool which acts very much like a traditional yellow highlighter, a marker tool which allows users to use their finger or stylus to draw on the document, an underline tool which of course allows users to underline text in a document, and a typewriter tool which allows users to type directly onto the document. Working in conjunction with the typewriter tool are an alignment tool which controls the alignment of text entered by the typewriter tool, as well as a justification tool. Lastly, iAnnotate provides a toolbox which provides access to virtually all tools offered by the system. No doubt, the march toward electronic documents continues, but that does not mean that you will give up the ability to edit these documents nor does it mean that you have to print the documents to paper and then mark up and comment on the documents using traditional methods. Rather, if you will invest a few minutes to explore some of the electronic options for marking up and editing documents, you will be pleasantly surprised that most, if not all, of your familiar markup tools are available from within your software or app of choice. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.